ASEAN continues to move farther away from us, the cleanup efforts in Okeechobee County are underway, but county leaders say it could take days to pick up the pieces. Our Steve King joining us live in Okeechobee County with how the cleanup is going there and what people who brave the storm are saying tonight. Steve. Felicia, well, tree parts on the side of roads is a common sight here in Okeechobee County. And while the county has cleared most of the roadways of trees, so have some residents in their own neighborhoods. You can see these scrape marks along the roadway. That's from a front loader from neighbors pushing the tree off of the roadway here. Now, the county says that at this point, it appears no one was hurt from the storm, which is a very good thing, but there is still a lot of damage right now. The lights went out and on and off, but it was okay. It's kind of scary, but you know, I was safe in a steady building. Michelle Smith spent Wednesday night in the special needs center. Smith is on oxygen and staying home with no power is not an option for her. I was nervous at, at the house. I was very nervous, but now I feel safe. But I'm ready to go home now. <laughs> we do have some clients that do not have power at their house. So until we work something out on that end, they'll, they'll remain here. The general population shelter closed on Thursday afternoon when the residents there decided to leave on their own. But some people braved the storm from their homes the whole time, coming face to face with Hurricane Ian's wrath. It was howling. It was, it was blowing really good. And coming, that, coming through the open end there, through the porch, and I guess the wind just caught the whole roof, and that's what just tore it off. County leaders say the traffic lights are now back up and running, but cleanup is just beginning with crews still assessing the damage. Several homes and other buildings like the Douglas Brown Community Center had damage. And with downed trees and power lines throughout the county, emergency leaders have these messages for all residents. We just want everybody just to be careful uh, because they're gonna be cleaning up their yards. Don't get overheated, watch out for the down power lines. And for the time being, if you don't have to be on the roads, stay off the roads. Now, right now, Florida Power and Light says they're still working to restore power in Okeechobee County, but they have not provided a specific timetable as to when everyone without electricity in the county is going to get it back. Reporting live in Okeechobee, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.